Welcome to another unit in this VBA course. This time I'm going to talk about how we can actually transfer our code, which we generated somewhere in any of these parts in VBA, into an add-in, which someone else then can use. Well, usually you would expect that, well, add-ins are related in some way to the VBA part, to um, here the developer environment so that you might find some kind of function here in this part. That's actually a bit wrong because if you want to generate an add-in, you have to return to Excel here, basically to the Excel file layout to the normal save as dialog. Because if we want to save this, we can now go somewhere like our desktop and here at the desktop, when we select the different file types, we can look up Excel add-in. This is a bit farther downward. Let me have a look. Dum, 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 dum. Excel add-in, the XLAM. I select this. Here I see, well, I was at the desktop. Now I'm at roaming Microsoft add-ins. So he automatically switches there. I will put this on the desktop. However, so here, at this moment, I just saved this. Nothing else happened. I just have an add-in somewhere on my desktop. If now I decide to open this add-in, so I go to the open dialog, open this add-in. Here, he tells me, okay, I want to open something with a macro. Yeah, obviously, I want to do this. So I go with enable macros. And well, nothing so much has happened here. But if I turn to Visual Basic, I see down here my opened add-in. So I can refer to all the modules, all the different objects from my add-in. In particular, no, I'm just closing my map. Basically, I'm not having anything here open. Can go back, my add-in is still active. So once I loaded this add-in, it's available all the time. So this is a neat way to generate an add-in and keep some kind of code even though all the files are closed. So this will remain here even if I were to close and reopen Excel. So not only does this make it very easy to share your code with other people, it also makes it very easy for you to keep important code important partial programs or whole programs in a way that you can always refer to them without having to open some kind of files first. And well, this was a relatively short unit because that is all there is to generating and using add-ins. However, this explains almost everything which is relevant in this context. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more exercises, more units on this topic VBA, feel free to visit the rest of the course or have a look at the corresponding playlist. I say goodbye and see you next time.